Hi, this is Lynn Dye, and today I wanted to show you how to get started with OneDrive and SharePoint if you have a brand new Office 365 account. Now, I, mine is not new, but I came over to a new identity I made, and I'm going to do an initial sync. You can look over here, and you see I don't have any any of the OneDrive clouds. So to get started on that, I came over here, I logged in on the web, that's how you need to start doing it, and I clicked on my OneDrive, and I'm going to click Sync, and I'm going to say I want to open it with OneDrive, remember the choice, and I'm probably going to have to sign in again. I haven't done this for a long time, so it may uh, act a little different. I'm going to say next, sync files from your OneDrive, and I'm going to choose what I want to download. So it's loading up all my folders. So this means, I think this probably means that I've got the, the new next gen, because I'm going to say I want to do all of them, and next again, and it says it's, it's ready for me. So I'm going to say open my OneDrive folder. And so here it's started my OneDrive. Here's my OneDrive personal. And it's putting in all of my folders here. So it's starting that syncing process. And up here it's giving me some more options to walk through some training. So we'll just look at this real quickly. And of course there's great mobile apps for Android and iOS and even Windows Phone if you want to put that on your phone, which is really a good idea, I think. So it says we're ready to go. So I can come back down here and my upload center is here, but let's go over to my files here and you can see that some of them are finished syncing, but it'll just take a while for it everything to sync up. And usually you can come over here and look at how things are going. For some reason, my my OneDrive cloud is not there yet, but um, things are still syncing. So if you have a new Office 365 account, then that is what you can do to get started with your OneDrive. To continue, I wanted to show you also how to start syncing your SharePoint sites. So I went up here and then just simply clicked on SharePoint and came over here and I I just pulled up uh, clicked on the photos to bring that up and remember we talked about how my OneDrive cloud was not there well in order to get that to appear all you need to do is come over here and type up type in here OneDrive for business and I'm gonna click that and it should just start up and it's, it's going to ask me which library do you want to sync. But I'm going to cancel that out. And I just wanted to come over here and show you that here is my cloud for OneDrive for Business. And uh, it's t asking me if I want to sync a new library. And since I'm here, I like to click on Documents. And I like to sync from right here and say Sync Now. And that should not appear again anymore. And it looks like it's going to work. That is a good sign. And say, go ahead and sync it. And show my files. And it should open up my uh, Windows Explorer. And there it is. And when you hear that tone, OneDrive for Business, you can always see the status. And you know that it is working. And now you can see I've got my SharePoint added here and the photos are synced. I can come over here and this actually this is the old client because right now I would see um, this is the Groove client because the Groove client is the one that works with SharePoint. Another thing I wanted to show you is how you can really tell which sync engines you're running for OneDrive, so you do a Control-Alt-Delete and you open up your Task Manager 
come over here to the details tab and everything's in alphabetical order so you can scroll down here's Groove so I know that I'm running Groove and that's going to sync my SharePoint sites and I come down here and I've got OneDrive I've got two OneDrive processes and one is probably the OneDrive the personal and then the other one is the OneDrive for business so that's just a little way you can tell which sync engines you're using so I hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions leave me a comment